Hey everybody, what's up? I'm the Mac Mage, and in this video, I'm going to talk about why it's important to have a wizard. So stay tuned. What is up? I'm the Mac Mage, and today... Everything changes. Today we're going to be talking about coding news and updates, so stay tuned. Some of my favorite can't live without Google Chrome extension is a known security issue. I am the Mac Mage. So many of you who may not have used a wizard on Kodi, such as Ares Wizard or TDB's Wizard, may not know all of the functionality that wizards offer. And so in this video, I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about them if you haven't used them before. Many wizards, such as TDB Wizard or Ares Wizard, have a lot of different things that they offer. Not just builds, but tweaks or maintenance tools, things like that. And I think it's really handy to have at least one wizard on your Kodi device at all times. I prefer TDB's wizard because to me it's hands down my favorite wizard. It's light, it's not, you know, cluttered with a ton of builds that, that are outdated or anything like that. It's very functional and I really enjoy using that particular wizard. Um, not only that, but it's got some really easy ways to clear your cache, purge packages, delete thumbnails, all that kind of stuff that you might want to do. Now, where I think having a wizard really comes in handy is when, let's say, you have your Cody the way that you like it, and you decide to try a build. Let's say something goes wrong and you just don't like the build. Well, you want to make sure that you've preserved your previous Cody settings so that you can just go right back to where you left off. And if another build comes around, you can just make sure that you can always go back to where you were. I would recommend going to TDB Wizard and doing a complete full backup. That way nothing you have will be lost no matter what you do. Now, I've had this happen, so I'm going to put this scenario to you guys. Let's say you're, you have to, for whatever reason, completely wipe out your Cody because a build just totally messed up your Cody or because something you did caused an installation of a build to be corrupted. Let's say that not even TDB Wizard can fix your problem and you need to completely fresh restore with the Fusion um, Fresh Start Kodi add-on. Well now you don't have TDB Wizard or anything so let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. So let's open up Kodi and now we have nothing here. We should not have any video add-ons. See, there's no video add-ons. And there's no program add-ons. Not even Fusion or TDB Wizard. Nothing is there. So now you have this backup that you've made, which I have mine right here. But it's not really going to serve me because I can't access it. Well, in this case, what I would do is put in the source for TDB Wizard, since it's the easiest. Now once I have that installed, I can just go ahead and put in the uh, wizard again Once this is enabled, I can go to Programs, I can go to TDB Wizard, I can restore from backup. But wait a minute, my backup's gone. Now that's not necessarily a bad thing. There are two options you can do here. The easiest one would be, remember when we made that earlier backup? All you need to do is replace it into your Kodi. So let me show you how to do that. The first thing we need to do is create a duplicate file of what TDB Wizard's backup folder is and this is what it would be right here. 
So it want you want it to say backup in DIR just like that. Okay? Now the next thing you need to do is take your backup zip file and place it in this folder. Now what you're gonna do is go click on go home library application support Cody and then in this particular area is where this folder needs to go so all you're going to do is drag and drop that folder in here now we're gonna go to Cody and we should be able to install that backup so we'll go to restore full backup and now we can see our backup if for whatever reason that you find that this option did not work for you and for whatever reason you still cannot see your backup please proceed ahead however this should fix it so what you're gonna do is just perform a full backup and just name it anything like um, today backup or something like that let it perform the full backup and then click out of there then what you're gonna wanna do is go click on go home library application support Cody and then go in here to this file and then what you're gonna wanna do is delete that backup and then simply drag in the copy of your backup that you made. Now we'll go into Kodi, back to Programs, and back to Restore Full Backup, and you will find the backup that you have created that had all your original stuff on there. So click Yes, click OK, Okay, now we're back to Cody, and we have all our add-ons back together the way they were. And that's one of the main reasons that I always recommend having a wizard on your Cody device. Now the reason I'm doing this video is for the video I'm going to do next, and it's something you're definitely going to want to stay tuned for. So thanks for watching, hopefully this video has helped you. If it did, please like and share. Also consider subscribing to my channel, it really helps me out a lot and motivates me to do what I do. So thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.